Okay, so if you are using headphones before the video starts, I'm going to warn you to take them out or turn them down because you're going to get a lot of distortion. Something which happens when you use Bandicam for creating um, video captures of your video games and then editing that video into Photoshop. You'll be able to hear this in a few minutes coming up. And there you go, it is that very high distorted, high pitched, horrible, horrible noise that you're getting just now. Obviously, it's not a very good setup, you're not wanting to listen to that all the time. What the problem is with this is that it's all to do with the default settings on Bandicam when you first buy it. Obviously, you're just imagining it to work straight out of the box. Um, what you're having to do is go into the video settings actually and go to presets. Now, by default, obviously, it's set to the default value. What you're going to want to do though is to go down to the Fort Edit Premiere slash Sony Vegas. That's the one that you're going to want to use to record your uh, footage with if you're using Photoshop as an editing suite. These settings here. You don't need to bother fiddling with these if you don't want to, but you definitely have to change the presets. And when you do, you'll hear that the music is exactly as it should be. What I would say is though, um, this looks a wee bit jerky, it's because I'm recording um, Photoshop while a video has been encoded basically, it's doing a, a real time preview, I don't know if you can see in the bottom that the frames per second are really low, it's just because I'm recording while it's doing a real time encoding. And as you can hear, it's here, the speech is fine, the music is fine. Now, the Why thing is, when you don't select those presets for the for edit premiere slash Sony Vegas, you're going to get that sound distortion. I don't know why, I've never came across a reason why this happens because it certainly didn't happen with Fraps. For some reason it just happens with Bandicam and if you're using Bandicam because it has a lower file size and then you're editing with Photoshop you're going to get that problem if you don't select that preset. You can still use Bandicam and edit the file in Windows Media Maker, uh, Windows Movie Maker, I apologise. The quality won't be as good. If you do it in Photoshop, you'll have a lot of options, such as a YouTube specific option, so that obviously you can have the highest quality video for your audience, so that people will keep on watching it, because let's face it, nobody wants to watch a bad video. Okay then, well that's just a, a wee way to stop any garbled or distorted noise from appearing in your Bandicam recordings when using Photoshop. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye bye.